Hello, Victor here, RestoreYourMercedes.com. This video is for George in Colorado. Now, George, we have the 91 500 SL, your, your actuator here connected to my car. So, as you can see, it's all connected here and to the plug. This is my original actuator. So, now it did take me a while to get everything situated so. Um, the actuator will not go into limp mode and I haven't had a limp mode even once after I did all my adjustments and clean and all the synchronizations and whatever like just when it was all finished and done it's not going into limp mode as far as I can tell I tested it for quite a few hours actually I ran the car I heated it up and I made the adjustments so it never went into limp mode so i just want to show you that it works fine and we're going to put the car on right now and here we go all right ignition ignition is on shut down climate control there we go okay and let's go back to the actuator now for the actuator I'm going to show you that it does react and it would go into limp mode on deceleration okay so our interest is slow deceleration just to show that it does not do this anymore let's try to get the camera positioned so it's not it doesn't fall down let's see if I, what i can do here that is not a good angle. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get this. To pop a bit. Mm. Should have thought of it late earlier, but okay. All right. Here. I'm not gonna breathe. Okay, as you can see, it reacts, everything is fine, but um, when, it, when it's not in the car, when there is no force from return spring, it's not the accurate test, so that's why I bolted it down real quick. I did not put the linkage on, I just, as you can see, it's just, it moves around too much, I can actually remove it here, but it's a good accurate test to actually preload it so we have resistance actually, let me just unplug and let me just show you as much as I could okay here we go now we're going to activate it so it is active as you can see I cannot I cannot move it the actuator holds pretty nice and tight so it is working uh, the interest here is deceleration, so I'm going to go extremely slow to decelerate, and um, here we go. I'm releasing the throttle extremely slow, the slowest I could with my finger, and um, it seems to be working fine. I mean, it, it does work fine, though. I mean, I don't really have any kind of doubts about it I just wanted to make a video just to show you that it did work fine in my car and I'm sure it will work good in your car as well I'm decelerating decelerating still and uh, the problem area was is when contacts touch with each other and on deceleration and if something that computer doesn't like it will send it into limp mode and in this case, as you can see, this is extremely slow deceleration and it did not go into limp mode. I'll show you how I know it so the ball doesn't fall. As you can see, the throttle, the actuator still reacts. Okay, well, let's say we don't have linkage. Okay, this is the actuator with no linkage. I'm applying. Well, my potentiometer is connected to my linkage, so when I press on the linkage, uh, the actual, you know, on the potentiometer, it follows with the linkage. 
but the actuator actually pulls this linkage before as you can see there is a distance so this is the distance where the oh there we go the return spring here the actuator actually pulls the linkage before the potentiometer can actually the potentiometer actually controls the whole throttle it's like there's a mechanical mode when it goes into limp mode the linkage engages mechanically in this case it's all electronic so let's say we had almost full throttle applied okay and I'm releasing the throttle slowly so here we go need me a bigger camera or something so it doesn't fall around sorry about that as you can see I'm decelerating right now extremely slowly goes just fine and there we have it this is pretty much idle right now here this is idle and um, it still works no limp mode now I'm going to start the car so let's go and start it up and make a video of car running oh I can go from here I have to constantly push this little linkage up on it, otherwise it falls. That's idle. When it drops down, that means that the micro switch inside control potentiometer hits idle position and it drops down the idle the speed drops down even though potentiometer still moves I mean the actuator still moves but it hits the idle so Just so you see that it's not me who's actually like it's not mechanical mode. I'm going to actually it'll fall off by itself. The linkage, so you can see that the potential the, the actuator still works. As you can see, actuator works. It wasn't me who's actually changing the idle. It's potential. It's the actuator that um, controls the idle and throttle, so it does work fine. Let me just try to get this on because it's so tight there. mechanical operation as you can see I can still activate throttle mechanically but that's the limp mode of an actuator does not work so I'm going to put the ball back on
So as you can see it works perfectly fine all of this time but it's well worth it all this time that's spent on it you can't see micro switches but they engage and disengage they work just fine As you can see it works perfectly fine. Oops. That's mechanical op mechanical operation. I'm going to shut the car down. I'm gonna just play around with the linkage for a second so you see it. It does work fine. Just pardon my car, it's a mess, it's still a work in progress. But uh, the RPMs are high idle control valve needs to be replaced so put the ignition back on shut down climate control okay and once again move the linkage out the way full throttle as you can see I'm engaging it here this is the potentiometer right over here Shiamer right here this thing right here okay so it's still connected to my linkage it's just too much work to remove it so I just move the linkage with my hand right you know, right over here this, this is a throttle cable so I can move it right over here so it activates the potentiometer so here's your unit it does work nice so I'm depressing the gas as if, is a, as if I were to decelerate and it works just fine. So now it's time to close it all up and mail it back. It's all good to go. Well, I'm having no problems with this unit right now. I'm going to actually finish off those bolts. I'm going to have to seal them off so they never lose their position. Um, so that is what I'm going to do tonight and uh, have it ready for shipping for Monday. Actually, I could be dropping it off on Saturday tomorrow in, in the morning. Okay, but so far so good. I don't really see a problem with this unit. As you can see, I'm moving it around was just fine it follows just nice okay all right well for more repairs visit my site restoreyourmercedes.com